Hello, my name is Kevin Amon. I'm an application engineer at X-Rite Incorporated, and I'm going to take you through a monitor calibration using ColorMonkey Display. The software that comes with the device is easy to use, and it's designed to take you through the process step by step. As we go through the process, I'll explain the different menu items and the options that you'll have in order to make a custom profile for your monitor. Welcome to the Color Monkey Display Home Screen. To access the Color Monkey Preferences pane, select File, Preferences on a PC. On a Mac, you'd go to the menu bar and click on Color Monkey Display and then on Preferences. The default tone response curve, or gamma, of both Mac and PC is set to 2.2. The ICC profile version can be selected. And you can either select or unselect the Achieve Display Luminance using Video LUTs and Enable ADC. We're going to unselect these two items so that when we profile, we can manually adjust our luminance. The technology type should also be selected for your particular display. Mine happens to be a white LED backlit display, so mine is set to white LED. Click OK to save these preferences. If the Color Monkey display is not yet registered, the registration window is going to appear as long as the device is connected. The users will have 30 days to register in order to receive complimentary technical support. The quickest and easiest way is the online registration. It's the preferred method in the default view when the registration window opens. You can access the registration by selecting Help and then Register. Again, fill out the required fields and then simply select Register Now. All the required information, the instrument serial number, the software registration code will be automatically sent to x rights registration database. Let's begin profiling by selecting Profile My Display. If you have multiple displays connected to this computer, you'd be prompted to select the desired display and then hit Next. The program will move to that selected display automatically. Also, keep in mind that in each window, there's a Help button in the lower left corner for access to a Help file on that particular window that you're in. Feel free to use that at any time in the software. Color Monkey Display has an option for easy or advanced profiling mode. The easy mode will use the D65 white point and won't change the display's current luminance or brightness. If you prefer to keep your monitor's current brightness level where it is and profile to a D65 white point, then the easy mode would be a wise choice. In comparison, the advanced mode allows you to set the brightness and luminance of your display to your ambient room lighting or to a specific level. The recommended display settings of D65 and a luminance of 120 has been set by the industry experts. Photographers and graphic designers have determined that a monitor profiled to these parameters will most closely match a print that's viewed in a 5000 Kelvin light booth. We'd recommend using the advanced method and select the bottom option and set your white point to D65 and a 120 candelas per meter squared luminance. If your prints are darker than your display, feel free to come back after profiling and reprofile to maybe a darker luminance level of maybe 100 or 90 or maybe even 80 candelas per meter squared. Our target white point of D65 is the default because it's the most common white point setting for photographers. This white point gives us the best match for most inkjet papers and the majority of printing papers that are being manufactured today. The D50 is a more yellow, warmer white point, and it's used in commercial publication printing environments where the paper you're trying to match has more of a yellow cast to it. Your goal is to select the white point that has a color appearance that's close to the most common paper that you work with. Again, we'll use the recommended D65 and the 100 candelas per meter squared luminance. Let's click Next to continue. The Advanced Options window includes two additional options, Ambient Light Smart Control, which will adjust the gamma, saturation, and contrast of the profile based on a single measurement of current ambient lighting. 
Flare Correct will reduce the effective contrast ratio to compensate for glare reflecting on the monitor's screen. We're going to unselect these two options in this demonstration. Click Next to continue. Place a color monkey display in the center of the screen in the correct position. If the ambient diffuser is covering the lens, rotate it to the rear position by following the on-screen instructions that you see in front of you. I've rotated my diffuser around to the back of the instrument. And then tip the monitor back and make sure that the color monkey is perfectly flat on the screen. Also, make certain that the glass lens with the felt pad is contacting the monitor's screen. That's going to make the white plastic ambient diffuser facing away from the screen. Again, the felt side with the glass lens should be contacting or rate right up flush against the screen. Click Next to continue to the measuring screen. There will be a brief contrast test, and then red, green, and blue color patches will be sent to your display, followed by another white screen again. If ADC is enabled in the Color Monkey Preferences, X-Rate's automatic display calibration will attempt to automatically adjust the display brightness to the desired level. If ADC is disabled, as in this example, or if it's unable to properly access the monitor's controls, a brightness adjustment dialog will appear with a quality indicator, target white luminance, and a measured white luminance. We unselected ADC in, in preferences. The quality indicator shows how close you are to the target. Now what you have to do here is adjust the brightness of your display until you get to the desired target luminance. You have to do it on the monitor's on-screen display or on your keystrokes on a laptop, or on the keyboard, or in system preferences on a Mac. I'm going to make some adjustments of my brightness to bring it down, and I'll take it down one notch, and I see that taking it down one notch will take me down to 114. Again, the measured white luminance, so let me go back up one notch. And when I go back up one notch, I'm at 127. So I'll have a choice to make. I, I would prefer to stay at 127. Once you have your luminance set to where you want it, select Next. Now the program is going to send 118 known colors to the screen. This process is going to take about five minutes to measure all 118 patches. Color Monkey device will measure and record all the values from each color. The profile will be created by using the lookup table that's created by the known numeric color values versus the actual measure values. After all the colors are measured, the program will advance to the Create Profile page. In the Create Profile page, the profile name can be edited if desired. It's important that the file extension must remain .icm for Windows and .icc for Mac. It would be wise to include the date, month, year in the profile name. You also have the ability to use the same profile name over and over by overwriting the previous profile. However, if you have a problem with a new profile, you won't have a suitable profile to go back to if you've already replaced it. I'm going to add the month and the year. Click Save to save the profile. You'll have the option to set your profile reminder to one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks. You also have the option to uncheck the reminder and turn off the reminder altogether. LCDs tend to be very stable and will likely need to be profiled only once a month. I've set mine to four weeks. CRTs used to be far more prone to drift and it would have been wise to profile them on a weekly basis. So I would have set a CRT to one week. Select Next 
to access the before and after. Toggle on the before and after to see how your profile is performing. Select the before button to see the display's previous state and then after for the new profiled state. There's six preloaded images in here for comparison. You can also add a custom image. It's going to have to be a TIFF that you can use for before and after as well. Click the finish button to complete the process. The new profile is going to be added as your default monitor profile for this selected display. You'll return to the home page of Color Monkey Display. If you choose to set your luminance to an ambient room lighting, or if you selected one of the advanced options like ambient light, smart control, or flare correct, you would have seen an additional window after hitting finish, and that would have been enable ambient monitoring. When enabled, the ambient light monitoring feature will actually rebuild the profile to account for changes in a room lighting. The ambient light monitoring feature can also be accessed by right clicking on the Color Monkey display tray icon and then select preferences. Access that by going to the tray icon, right click, and preferences. This is where you can make changes to your profile reminder and turn on or off ambient light monitoring. Select OK to save your changes. This concludes our Color Monkey display demonstration. For additional help, we'd really recommend going to our website at www.xrite.com. And for support, select Support in the navigation bar. Come down and select Professional Photography. Scroll down to the Color Monkey display. To access software downloads and common help desk questions and interactive training videos, anything that might help you through the process. Also, I'd like to draw your attention to our e-learning site. Click on the e-learning from the training and services drop-down. Select the design or pre-press and printing. I will go to pre-press and printing. And then you'll see the display profiling. Click down and click here to enter our e-learning site. And you'll see the display profiling uh, with i1 profiler and with color monkey and with i1 match. Also, I'd like to draw your attention to the color control freak. The color control freak is loaded with uh, lots of training on display and printer profiling as well as the use of profiles in third-party applications like Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and Lightroom. Feel free to visit the X-Rite e-learning site 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.